up guys and welcome back to a new vlog. I am with my boy Henrik, as you can see right there, flexing oh, yeah. legs. Uh, we are at Gold's Gym, the Mecca right now. Henrik is taking me through a leg workout again, but today we are targeting our quadriceps, like the front. And yeah, we are about to, we are about to kill it, so. Oh yeah. He's making me do like 20 reps, and I usually go for like eight reps. We go like one exercise is a lot of reps, yeah. And next exercise a is heavy less. and, and heavy, right? Yeah. So 20 reps, then 15, then 10, then five, and increase the weight. But yeah, it's killing you right now. Our third exercise, and yeah, let's kill it. is in my front quads right now. Oh, yeah. oh my blood. A lot of blood here. Yeah. We ended up skipping the lying down. What is it called? Like, I don't know. It's a leg press. Yeah, some kind of leg press for like lying down. We ended up skipping this because both me and Hendrik are pretty, pretty lightheaded. So we ended up skipping, but we're going to do probably the best leg machine right here. It's yeah. old school, but I really love it. It's uh, an extension. Hey, it's awesome. No, it's leg curls, leg curls, seated leg curls. Yeah. So we're gonna do that now and probably finish off with a couple more exercises. We'll see, but that's it for now. Cardio done. 30 minutes, 400 calories or 430 calories. Yeah. Fucking dead. Let's go to the posing room. What do you think of the workout, bro? Bro, I'm so done. You done? It was amazing. It was. Yeah. It was. The last one was a killer. Oh, yeah. It really was. Just did some physiques, uh, physique updates. I have 20 more days. So pretty excited about that. I've lost a lot of weight since last time. Because last time me and Hendrik did legs, we also did a uh, physique update at that time. So I just showed Hendrik my physique now, showed the progression. And yeah, it, that's basically it for them. But guys, happy news. After the 20 days, I'm going to be here for four, four days. And then I'm, I'm going to be traveling back to Norway after that. But I'm gonna be doing a cheat day with Henrik and Ida. And the amount of donuts and pizza and everything is gonna be fucking, ooh, it's gonna be so good because like I'm so food focused right now. And I'm going like super clean, so it's gonna be good to have like that cheat day after that. So I'm pretty excited about that. But I'm gonna go home right now, maybe cook myself some egg whites and I'll see what I'll do after that. So I'll catch you guys over there. I'm back home. I am eating my broccoli. You see, got some broccoli with a little bit of cheese and some egg whites. But that is my meal as of for right now. And I came home, took off my shirt because it's so hot. Oh, look at that! Look at that action right there. We're getting, we're getting way leaner. <laughs> we're getting way leaner. I enjoy broccoli like way too much to be honest. I don't understand why, but like broccoli is super good. So today is going to be a day of editing. I have to edit a lot. I have to study a lot too because my ACE test is in two days. So I'm going to study a lot for that. But I want a video out every Thursday. So that's why I continue to like press myself to just, oh, okay, you have to do this. You have to do that because like priorities, you know. Uh, but that's basically for now. Thank you so much for the leg workout, Henrik. I really enjoy that. It was a good workout. I'm probably not going to be able to walk tomorrow, but <laughs> I love that. That's what fitness is about. But somehow I have a lot more energy. I don't know why. Like I'm eating 1,500 calories and 
in a big calorie deficit but sometimes i just have a lot of energy and i get these energy spikes and i just like that and i think it might be because of the surroundings the people you hang around with and everything like that so i'm just going to finish my food right now after that i'm going to edit and do some homework but i don't know if i'm going to do that much today i'm not sure if not i'm not going to record anything obviously because like it's just going to be boring but if I'm going to do something, I'll totally bring you guys along. Oh, by the way, guys, if you do not already, follow me on Instagram. If that will focus, Oscar underscore Johansson. Follow your boy. He creates some good content. Guys, how y'all doing, huh? Let's sit down right here. So, guys. Oh, that is harsh as shit. Uh, I'm gonna do a physique update right now. It is currently three more weeks left of the summer trading challenge and I figured why not show you guys the last physique update before the big reveal. <laughs> so I am currently 167 pounds right now. 167, yep. Sounds about right. And uh, last time I didn't show my legs but I'm gonna make sure to show my legs now too. I Inside my own world of make-believe Kids screaming in the cradles profanities I see the world through ice covered in ink and bleach Cross out the ones who have Look at that side chest coming in! Ooh, that little bit of bicep, look at that! Oh, every time Every time the back is even worse. My cries and watch me weep. I love everything. Fire spreading all around my room. My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. I still have uh, a little bit of weight to lose. This is mainly water weight. Uh, I don't have that much fat left on my body, or I. I do have a lot of fat on my body, but not as much. Uh, what I got mainly is water retention, so when I start like losing my water and stuff like that, that's gonna be way easier. Uh, when I shave my legs, my legs are gonna look more defined and way better. Uh, I'm gonna try to fix this tan situation. Got a little bit more still here to lose a little bit more on the hamstrings and legs. I'm getting way leaner, I can see it on my face and stuff like that, that's where I can see that I'm getting the most lean, but like my back is getting way leaner too, as you can see right there, if it will focus. Really happy about that. Back was my one of my weak parts back in the days, actually, like I'm super stoked about, about um, like progressing a lot on my back, just trying to get this back shot. Oh, fuck, it's hard. But yeah, that was the physique update. I'm just gonna continue grinding because I already know it's been hard. But as I said, I got 21 more days left, guys, and it's just I'm just gonna grind it out, you know, just fucking grinding, 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 grinding. I'm to lose a lot of weight. You can start to see more of the ab definition, starting to see a little bit more. Like overall guys, I'm like super happy about the progress I've made. It is absolutely crazy uh, being 160, 67 right now. And like, it's gonna be, when I lose seven more pounds or anything between seven pounds, guys, I'm gonna look shredded. But yeah guys, that is it for now. Uh, I'm gonna do some cardio and then I'm gonna talk a little bit more about the topic of this video and that is how I stay motivated. Okie dokie. I'm gonna try to use this for sound. We'll see how it goes but hopefully you guys can hear me right now. So what I'm gonna be doing is that I am going to do some low intense steady workout or list as we call it for 30 minutes. Uh, I usually do a incline of 14 and then 3.8% speed. So I'm just going to be walking here for uh, 30 minutes. So I just wanted to talk about what I meant by staying motivated or how I keep myself motivated. I saw a post on Instagram recently and it asked uh, a person called uh, Merlin. He's actually sponsored by 
uh, athlete, super cool dude. He also has a YouTube channel, so you should totally check him out. Uh, I just love that guy. He has great content. But he uploaded a photo on Instagram not long ago, and somebody asked him, how do you stay motivated all the time? And he answered that there's no such thing as stay motivated all the time because it's just not possible. Because sometimes you're going to go into the gym and you're going to be like, you know what? I don't even want to work out. I don't even want to walk like right now. <laughs> like, I don't even want to do this cardio right now. I just want to go home, eat a big, big meal, go and like the amount of cravings I have is just crazy. Like, I've been craving a lot of donuts, a lot of junk food, blah, blah, blah. But now we're going to take away motivation and we're going to put in discipline. Discipline is something you need because... You will only go as far with motivation. Like, I was so motivated for this the first month and the second month. But now, I'm starting to lose motivation. I'm like, oh my God, should I like, how will I do this? What, is there a chance for me to win? When? Like, you start to second guess yourself. And when you start second guessing yourself, man, like, that's when you can get like super low. And I'm so low on calories. I just overthink everything and it's so easy to just sit in the sofa or sit in the couch watching YouTube or Netflix or whatever I do that day and I'm like, do I even want to go and train? And guys, when I ask myself that, I think like, what am I doing? Because like, training is what I love. And when I start to second guess if I want to go and train or not, like something is totally wrong. That's because like I've been going so low on my calories because I really want to really want to just see my limit now. That's what I want to do. But answer guys, like how I keep myself motivated. The truth is that I'm motivated, like 50% motivation, but you're gonna need a lot of discipline, guys. A lot of discipline. And if you want to make it in life, everything like discipline is something you have to have. Because if you don't have discipline, man, like you're not gonna, you're not gonna go anywhere at all. And that's something, something I've thought about for not long is that if you want something, just sit in your couch and be like, oh, I want to do this. I want to do that. Like I used to do that all the time before too. But if you want to do something like seriously, just go ahead and do it straight away. Like that's the first thing you should do. Action, 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 action. Just fucking do it. Don't say, oh, I'm going to go to the gym tomorrow or oh, I'm going to start next week or oh, I'm going to paint the wall next week or just fucking just do it. Just do it. That is something that's going to like help you to be more consistent. And it's going to help you to be more disciplined. Like there's a lot of things you can do to be more disciplined too. Like start by making your bed. Seriously, m make your bed every day. That is like discipline takes practice. You're not a person that's disciplined by it nothing you know but truly discipline is when you go to something you do not want to do like doing this cardio right now i'm doing this cardio even though i really don't want to do it but i got the amount of discipline that i will do it till the dot and i will do it every day till this challenge is done i will follow my macros every day 1500 calories until i'm done you know and i'm still gonna go hard in the gym every day until i'm done and after that i'm just going to continue 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 because that's what it's going to take motivation is just it's not going to last forever you know truly if there is something you want to do or something you've been telling yourself to do for a long time just just do it right now like literally right now stop watching this video and just do it and if i can't motivate you right now man just motivate yourself self-motivation trust me that's where I got my motivation from myself. Just to make it myself. I didn't want to be a, a drug addict anymore. I didn't want to be a fat person or a skinny person because I had anorexia too. Not a lot of people know that, but I had anorexia. So I've been fat, like super overweight. I've been super skinny. Where it came to my friend like literally bringing me food home and buying me food so I can eat. And he will literally sit there and eat with me shout out to you fabian and i just was super skinny at the time and then i just started work out i bought my first protein powder 
And when I spent money, I invested in protein powder and it was pretty, pretty expensive for a student. And I said to myself, okay, so I just invested in protein powder. Now I'm invested. So now I am going to do it. And when I started, I was like, okay, I got to be more disciplined. I started meal prepping. I started making my bed every day. I started taking showers every day, every morning. I started cleaning. I started just a lot of routines because routines is the key, guys. And after that, guys, that's, that led me to like do so much. You know when you get like flashbacks on Snapchat? I got like flashbacks from last year and I'm sitting here and I'm like, wow. There's so much thing like I have accomplished this one year. Bottom line, guys, it's hard to stay motivated all the time. It is hard. But just try to do your best. Literally, just try to do your best. And if you can't, start by making your bed. Trust me, it's gonna make a big, big difference. And if your room looks like shit and you have clothes everywhere, your mind is gonna look like shit. Your thoughts is gonna be shit. Have clean surroundings. Hang around with people that want to motivate you too. Hang around with people that you motivate and that motivate you. Be motivated by motivation. <sighs> okay guys, so I have, it is nine minutes and 44 seconds right now. <laughs> I have 20 more minutes to go. So guys, that's the ending of this, this vlog right here. <laughs> I have three more weeks and I am so, so excited. I'm just gonna go super hard. Thank you so much for watching the vlog, guys. I really appreciate it. And if you liked it, please subscribe. Comment down below what you did or did not like about uh, the vlog. Sorry, I can't even fucking uh, breathe right now. Holy shit. But yeah, subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next vlog. Peace out. I live inside my own world of make believe.